TV thing. Photographing you, photographing, photographing. Okay. okay. Well, who are we going to have? The, uh, not me. I'm not here. We have more. Not out there. We've got about ten exposures. Yeah. You can be on there. How many exposures? It goes backwards. We've got about five or six. Oh, okay. Quarter black and white. Quarter black and white. How big of a man uh, was Lee Oswald? Well, supposedly 5'9", although my study shows that the person in this picture has to be over 6 feet. Oh, well, really? In this paper, he's 4 foot 11. And he was, uh, I'm taller than 4 foot 11. He was the same height as Roscoe White? I mean, was, was oh, Roscoe White about 5 feet? Roscoe was 5 feet. Roscoe was 5 feet. Roscoe was 5 feet. You're the one who told me to do that. The newspaper scale is 11 and a half inches. Yeah. And then when you scale it over here to 5, it comes out 4 foot 11. This is right in front of where the pruder was when he was taking the film. This is the pergola on the north side of Dealey Plaza. Abraham the pruder was standing right on top of this piece of concrete. This is the window, and I'm standing in a curb almost right next to where, within 10 feet of, JFK took the headshot. I know it's the sniper's window. It's on the sixth floor, far east end, facing the south. corner the motorcade came around but it turned left after driving north on Elm. Now we see the Dallas County Records building. And this is where I think one of the shooters was. 
You fired from the rear with a sabre round. On the roof, the Dallas County Records Building. Because there were prisoners in the jail that could probably see the roof of the record building. But that angle would be a bit high. Then we had the open area to the south.
direction of escape, it has to be a car that's parked right here. At that time, they were backed in the parking places at this point. And now we're going to go down and look at the sewers that John talked about. This is farther down the fence. I still have a good shot of the kill zone. And if I had a rifle with a scope in it, I could get just about the same picture I've got right now, which would give me a headshot of about like so. This is the kill zone, right there. Right by this tree. And this is approximately 80 feet farther, or 80 feet from the east corner of the grassy knoll, which distances me quite a bit from everybody else. To get some idea of what we're dealing with here, the corner of the fence comes across to this point, and that's where I was standing. All the theorists think that the shooter was standing approximately at this position. But almost as likely a shot, if not better, is right here at approximately 60 to 70 feet down the fence. Which is exactly by fence post. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 16 fence posts. Each fence post being approximately six feet apart. So let's go over and look at the sewer. The switch boxes that Ed Hoffman says he saw the guy come to. He says the man was standing right here on the north side of this switch box that took the rifle and put it in the tool bag or toolbox. He was standing approximately right over there on that side of the railroad tracks. He says they then walked north along the railroad tracks and disappeared into the freight cars up there. And this is the tower that Lee Bowers was in when he watched the men behind the fence. And this is the sewer that now has traffic cones around it. And they weren't here last night. These cones were not here last night. A skinny man could get away right down in the bottom of this sewer if that hole was cleaned out and crawled down into the main line of the street. But what could he hear, see from here? If a board was missing in the fence, we could see the kill zone. Right there. This is another interesting position. I'm not sure that it would be as handy, other than the fact that he could disappear. However, the only problem with this position is too many people were on this overpass watching and around the top of this bridge. They would see someone down here with a rifle unless it was somehow barricaded off. Let's go out onto the bridge. Yes. 
little overpass. Sewer is right at the end of this bridge behind this column. The shooter was right in these trees where the smoke was seen. Kill zone's right there. Triangulation of fire from this point. Or triangulation of fire from that point. Or right in there. Still photos.